Okay, good evening everyone and welcome to the webinar Two Trade Setups Every Serious Trader Should Know. Let me go ahead and do a quick sound check here to make sure that everybody can hear me. If you can see my cover slide, would you mind just typing in an S and also that will serve as a sound check too. All right, well good evening everyone. Good to see everybody here tonight. If you're in any part of the United States, you're probably a little colder than normal. I know the Austin has um, a rare freeze and today we had some frozen streets this morning and that's always fun to see Texans drive on snow or ice. It doesn't work out as well as you'd want it to sometimes so usually you stay off the streets. But uh, yeah, so hopefully it'll warm up. I think this is the last two raw of the winter season. Hopefully we'll all get past this as well. So um, good to have everybody here tonight. We'll go ahead and jump right in and get started with this. Um, my name is Mark Helwig and I come from the hedge fund background for those of you who don't know who I am. I started trading when I was uh, right out of high school actually. I went to college for a year to study as an engineering student and then I left to work on the ex ex major or the floor of a major exchange for about two years and then went back and finished up my degree after that so that was a lot of fun. Let's see I've got somebody who says no audio. Let me go ahead and just Tell them to log out. Uh, just a second. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. So I'll make sure they're taken care of. Um, and then um, for the past 20 years or so, I've worked in the hedge fund space and have been blessed to work with a couple, two Star Search award winning teams and one uh, team recognized by Futures Magazine as well as the top new manager. I published, or came up with the concept of value charts and published that in a book called Dynamic Trading Indicators back in 2002. Time goes by quickly and then have been a speaker at various events both here in the States and internationally as well. So that's my background and I love trading. I'm very passionate about it. enjoy developing systems and indicators and enjoy making uh, you know, different tools that can make more money trading or make trading easier. Now, uh, risk, the risk, risk disclaimer, trading or investing carries a high level of risk. It is not suitable for all persons. Uh, before deciding to trade or invest, you should carefully consider your investment objectives, level of experience, or ability to tolerate risk. Just one second here. I've got uh, somebody else saying they're having difficulty with sound. Can everybody hear me okay? Let me, let me try a, one more, a yes one more time here. Yeah, several people. Sometimes, uh, okay, yeah, go to meeting or go to webinar can be a little uh, temperamental, so hopefully those folks are having trouble with uh, sound good. Okay, looks like everybody can hear me. We've got a nice group here tonight, so I'll continue. Bottom line with, with uh, risk disclaimer, it's pretty much common sense. Do not risk any money that you cannot afford to lose. Obviously, that's not our goal, but at the end of the day, you've got to make sure that any money, in my opinion, that you subject to risk is money that you can actually afford to lose. So don't put your yourself or your family in bad shape if you cannot afford to risk the money you have in your trading account. Okay, um, CFTC Rule 4.41 simply states that hypothetical or simulated performance results have certain limitations. Unlike an actual performance record, simulated results do not reflect actual trading. I'm not going to show any simulated results. Um, Let's see, in this uh, webinar, I will show you some trade examples. Uh, just one second here. Got some ESOs. They lost sound again. Um, uh, is working for most. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm stopped sending these out. I'm just trying to set some, help some people get set up here. Um, but uh, basically, I'm going to show you some different examples of the setups here that we're going to learn about tonight. But uh, uh, yeah, just remember the the uh, risk disclaimers, pretty much common sense stuff. The two trade setups here that are interesting that are not necessarily talked about a lot are the bar pattern setup and the cycle inversion setup. And the cycle inversion setup is something that's rarely ever talked about and it's probably one of the better setups out there in my opinion 
that uh, you can find. It's very, very strong. And as with any setup, we're not going to get into this too much on this webinar just because we, we just don't have the time. But the idea for setups, in my opinion, is to use those to tilt the odds in your favor. And then I recommend drilling down on a shorter term time frame and using a, a rule-based logic to manage your entry and exit signals. Because what happens is, is that as human beings, we tend to have the, the most difficulty with determining where to get in and where to get out, and we tend to be ruled by emotions when it comes to, to uh, entering and exit, exiting the market. So I'm a huge fan of a trading framework, which involves outlooks, setups, and signals. And we're discussing on this webinar outlooks tonight, but I'm sorry, uh, setups tonight. But um, keep in mind that these setups are, are designed in general to give you an idea of where prices are likely to go. And that how to trade those is a different, it's really a different topic. We can talk briefly about that if you want to. But um, in general, how to trade those is going to really relate to, um, you know, having a rule-based logic. That's how I recommend doing it because that, that in my opinion, represents uh, the highest probability for making money and letting really the key is to let your winners ride and run as, as long as you can and cut your losers off and that's what we struggle with as, as human beings with our emotions okay the two setups again that we're going to talk about are the bar pattern setup and the cycle inversion setup so the bar setup is which stands for break and reverse is an interesting setup and this is really a setup that I recommend using when you have a when you have a notion or you have an opinion using other type of uh, types of technical analysis or even fundamental analysis about where a market should go this is a, an icing on the cake indicator or setup now, I recommend using this with other in, types of technical analysis that are saying the same thing so when all the stars align this is a very very powerful setup and uh, it's one that um, oftentimes we miss unless we have a way to identify it. Now, if you're here tonight, you get the bar indicator for free. So if you haven't received that, look for an email to come giving you download instructions on how to get that. And um, excuse me. And what you want to do is uh, you'll, you'll want to download it for your platform. We've actually developed this for a number of different platforms, which include TradeStation, Thinkorswim Toss, eSignal, NinjaTrader, and we're doing it also for Sierra Charts. So if you have one of those platforms, uh, you can download it and apply it for free. Just uh, put it on your screen, and the same principles will apply. So it's making your life easy. We're trying to provide valuable content and also give you a, a nice indicator. I think that will work as a, a great way to find these setups and uh, free of charge. Now, if we didn't name your platform, and your platform allows third-party developers to create indicators for them, then let us know. Yeah, TOS is included. So and how to use it. It's very, very simple. If you have any difficulties in installing it in your platform, just give us a call or email us. Go to valuecharts.com and go down in the lower left-hand corner. You'll see our telephone number and our email address for support, and we'll walk you through how to, to install that. MT4, we have had requests for that, and I can look into developing this for MT4 as well. So let's go ahead and move forward and learn about the bar or break and reverse setup. Now, uh, excuse me, by the way, if my, my voice sounds funny, it's because I, I'm, at losing, I'm at the losing end of the battle with allergies down here in Austin. I, it's, this, I think Austin has got to be the worst place in the world for allergies, and uh, I just uh, tend to, to be on the losing end of that battle, so I apologize, despite my best efforts. Now, the bar pattern, break and reverse pattern, takes place when the market pushes price beyond a recent high or low and then completely reverses to close beyond the previous bars range. Okay, so that, that's a mouthful, but let me show you on a visual here what exactly that means. Go ahead and pull out my pointer here so I can, I can draw a little bit. So this is what your bar pattern is going to look like. And it's a single bar pattern that's analyzing what this bar is doing relative to what's happened previously, and I'll explain the logic behind this. So what, what it's going to look like is you're going to get a yellow bar, yellow word that says bar in all caps, and a green dot, and you can make that green dot larger or smaller if you want, but it's, it's, it's a small green dot on my chart here. It may be a, a little difficult to see, but uh, that is the bar pattern that's being triggered here. Okay. Now, 
what's going on here is what it's looking for is for the past five bars, I have my look back setting to five, we want to see this bar trade below the low of the previous five bars. So one, two, three, this is a terrible job of, of writing here and I apologize for that, four, five. So five bars back, the lowest low just happens to be in the uh, on the previous bar and the idea or previous two bars really the idea of this is that people place they tend to place sell stops below recent lows and going back for five bars we should have a, some, a certain amount of sell stops below those bars now what the day traders love to do is they love to push price below ex recent extremes whether it be high or low extremes and they love to run the stops. So day traders are going to be selling, selling, selling. Here's the open right here. Uh, right here's the open. I'll circle it. Pushing price lower below recent lows in the hopes that they're going to find some sell stops below there. And they're short. So they're short going into that. And then once the sell stops get hit, they're turning around and buying those, those they're offsetting their shorts and buying their positions back. And really being, they're the buyers that buy back to the sell stops you know, oftentimes. So, it's, it's a way to make a little bit of a quick pop in the markets. And what we're looking at here is once we get below those recent lows in this area right here, okay, let me I'm gonna erase my uh, drawing and start over. So right here, we're hitting new lows. We want to watch what happens. And, and typically during that time, we're seeing the market stall out. So the, the, the short-term traders have pushed prices down, and we've hit the sell stops, and then there's no fresh buyers coming into the market. And oftentimes there's, there's new, I'm sorry, no fresh sellers. We've hit the sell stops, we've broken recent lows, and there's no new sellers coming in. So the market prices kind of start to stall out. So that's very important to, to know that that's step number one. So right here, we want to break below previous lows, and then we want to reverse. So very important that we see that happen. Clear out the sell stops, and then we reverse higher. Now, that the definition of what we want to see here in a perfect world is we now want to see the close of this price bar up here above the previous day's high, which is right here, this dashed line. So we have a total reversal. We've run the lows, and then we've had very strong buying come into the market, and we've closed above the previous bar's highs. Now, I will tell you this. There's a little bit of a um, allowance there we're going to offer for the bar pattern, and that is it doesn't necessarily have to close above the previous bar's highs, but for the bar pattern, we'll, we're going to require it to, to do that. And then there's an asterisk bar, asterisk pattern that says if you close in the top 25% of the previous bar, it's right in here, I'll circle that, then we'll also identify you as a pattern because I find that that, that tends to be a pretty good uh, pattern as well. So we, we have the bar and then the asterisk bar, asterisk pattern that does not close above the high of the previous bar, but closes in the top 25% call it, okay? This is what it looks like for the buy bar pattern, all right? And in this case, we have the close that's well above the previous bar's high. And I'm going to get to questions here in just a minute. So let's go over here now to, um, now to the uh, sell version of this. So let me pull out my pointer again here. Now, just the opposite has taken place here. We want to, first and foremost, run all the buy stops here. So we're seeing the market open, and short-term traders oftentimes will push prices above recent highs and run all those buy stops. And then we have the bar right here, bar asterisk bar here this time, and the red dot, which says it's a, it's a sell pattern or bearish pattern this time. And then we have the uh, a sell-off, a total reversal. Notice this time the close does not exceed the low of the previous bar. So it's not a pure bar pattern, but it's one that's good enough because we're in the bottom 25% of the previous bar. Okay, so step number one, break above previous highs, run all the buy stops. Step number two, a full-blown reversal, and then close almost or below the previous bar's low. All right, it's that simple. Now, we want to see this indicator in the context of something that's either bullish or bearish. And in this particular case, I included an indicator we've been talking about in recent webinars called the 2MA cycle indicator. And the setup we're, we were looking at with that uh, webinar was the surge setup. And then we see the surge setup happening right now in this example. So we see the 2MA cycle coming up very close to the zero line and starting to head back down here. 
okay, as part of the surge setup. Now, the surge setup involves finding a peak or the cycle peaking out right near zero here and having the bar pattern right here happen at this turning point is very powerful. So combining the bar pattern with 2MA cycle setup, the surge setup, is extremely powerful. So that's a great setup. Now, if you don't know what the 2MA cycle is, we offer a free webinar on that, and this is a free indicator as well. So go sign up for that free webinar. If you need instructions, just reach out again to us at Customer Service. Uh, go to uh, support at valuecharts.com, and we will give you a link to the free indicator and also a link to that um, uh, that uh, webinar as well. And you're going to learn what the surge is, surge cycle setup. I'm not going to go into detail on that because we're not talking about that tonight. But I will say that the combining those where the stars align, you get the surge setup that's forming, and then having the bar pattern uh, you know, uh, unfold, if you will, at the extreme or at the turning point is very, very powerful and tends to work fairly well. Okay, so let me continue going here. Now, the bar pattern is best used to enhance other patterns or technical analysis. Let me, uh, I'm just going to check real quick here, make sure that we're okay. Can everybody see, uh, let's see, can everybody see this bar pattern? The bar pattern is best used to enhance. Okay, good. I want to make sure my slides are advancing. Uh, I did have one question here. Let me see if I can answer that really quickly. Okay, uh, is this pattern, you said, is this a variation of the false uh, BD? There's various patterns out there. There's, I know there's some pin bar patterns out there that are looking to do, um, yeah, similar things, okay, but, but they're not totally the same. Um, another question is, any way this will work with candlesticks? Yes, this will. So your, your bar indicator will work either with price bars or with candlesticks as well. Um, so is, does it have to be, excuse me, does it have to break the previous five bars low and not just the previous bar low? Yes. When we want to look for the reversal, we want to look for several bars back, not just one. Now, we had a question in my previous webinar today. Somebody was asking, is this like the engulfing pattern, which is a candlestick two-bar pattern, the bullish and bearish engulfing? It is not like that, and I'll tell you why. It's, it doesn't require the, the candlestick body of the bar to engulf the previous candlestick body. It doesn't require that. The most important thing we're looking for is running the stops and reversing. And not only do we want it to run the stops and reverse, either to the downside or upside, we want it to run the stops and reverse hard. Okay, those two things together are very, very powerful. All right, um, let me keep on going here and I'll take questions here in just a bit. Um, Okay, let me. I'll just take one or two more questions. Uh, does the bar indicator have an alert? It does not. So this is just visual, purely visual this time. Uh, is this similar to the kicker pattern? No, not quite. And you'll see, Lee, as we go on, why it's not. Uh, is there an alert on trade station version? No, there's not alert. Uh, under the insert analysis technique option, what is the name of the analysis technique? It's MQ bar. So look for MQ bar. Are the MQ bars the same as MQ dots? No, they're different. Okay, so uh, you can adjust you can adjust the MQ bar pattern as well with sensitivity. I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Now, getting back to the presentation here, the bar pattern is best used to enhance other patterns or technical analysis. All right, it's a confluence indicator. So again, and there's lots of other ones you can use with this. So don't let that discourage you at all. If I just have a pure bar pattern by itself, it's an attention getter. Right, but it's not necessarily a standalone setup, if that makes sense. When I combine the bar pattern with like the 2MA cycle the surge setup, then that becomes extremely powerful. Or if I have other types of analysis, if I'm right up against support, right up against resistance, and I have an opposite bar pattern, that can be very powerful too. too. So there's a lot of ways you can use this, and I'll show you some here in just a minute. Now, under certain conditions, the bar pattern should be ignored like when there is compelling, uh, contradicting technical analysis. So if you see something else that's saying bearish and you see a bullish bar pattern, then they, it's just something to ignore there. I don't, I don't usually follow the bar pattern when that happens. Now, high volatility bar patterns should be viewed cautiously because the market has already gone in the projected direction by a sizable amount and has increased risk. This is not only true of the bar pattern, it's true for any type of pattern recognition. Okay, and the idea here is that 
with anything that requires what I call directional confirmation, which means that it has to go in a direction to predict the direction. If it goes too far in that direction, it's eroded the profit potential. Same thing holds true for the bar pattern. So in these cases, you can either ignore it or wait for a correction against the direction that you're expecting prices to go to reduce your risk. Now, prices may not surge immediately in the projected direction after a bar pattern. Prices may stall for several bars before they experience a move. This is actually okay. Unlike the surge setup, which we talked about with the 2MA cycle indicator, uh, surge setup, we want to see prices go immediately in our direction. Not so, not so much for the bar pattern, okay? It can take a, a, two or three bars to start picking up steam to go in our direction, and that's fine. Now, beware of bar patterns immediately after night sessions where volatility can be dramatically less. This is true for intraday analysis. Now, the bar pattern is valid both intraday and end of day. I recommend using 60-minute, you know, you can, you can use 5, 10, 15, but I find that the longer-term price bars tend to be more valid. So the dailies, the weeklies are by far the most powerful. 240, 120, 60 minutes are, are very, you know, they can be very effective as well. When you get down into the five-minute range, it, it's like anything else. It's almost like a candlestick pattern on five-minute price bars. It can be something that you want to track, but not necessarily as influential or meaningful as a daily, if that makes sense. Now, the bar patterns are strengthened when confirmed by other technical analysis. So in my earlier example, I showed you the 2MA cycle surge setup in conjunction with the bar pattern. They can be very powerful when put together. So it's almost like a 1 plus 1 equals 5 situation at times. So watch for that. If you're looking at another type of setup, then you have the bar pattern just pop up there. Then it can be very, very powerful. Now, bar patterns are strengthened when key support or resistance is broken before the market reverses. So think in terms of the requirement number one for the bar pattern. We want it to clean out the stops. If this happens to go beyond a very, you know, key support or resistance where it cleans out the stops, we see prices stall and then reverse, this adds strength to the bar pattern. So if you see that happen, that could be a, a good indication that the market's going to continue reversing and going in the direction of the bar pattern. Now, you're going to be surprised to see me say this or hear me say this, but bar patterns are also strengthened when reversing above or below key support and resistance, when it actually does not break those. So the bar pattern itself breaks recent highs or recent lows, but stays above or below key support and resistance. That key support and resistance tends to, to serve as line in the sand. So that, that's, that's a good bar pattern as well. So both of them can be noteworthy and worth watching. A bar pattern is a failure if the market penetrates the bar a breakout extreme on any bar following the bar pattern. So think in terms of this. If like a buy bar pattern runs down, cleans out all the sell stops, and then reverses, and then the next bar, the next day or next 60-minute bar, whatever you're trading, goes below the point where we cleaned out all the stops, then the bar pattern is invalid. Okay, then it's a failure. Just understand that. We don't want to see prices go below the level where the stops are cleaned out on the bar pattern for the bar pattern to remain intact. Now let's take a look at a couple examples here. This is actually a, an example here of um, uh, crude oil on 60 minutes. Now the bar pattern works pretty well with crude oil. And this again is that surge setup that I, I, I spoke about previously. But we have that first surge number one, come back down near zero, and then we have that really strong follow-on surge. Notice we have a bar pattern that's doing a great job of indicating timing here. We have the word bar below it and a green dot on it. That's bullish. And that confirms that prices could very well start heading higher. Okay, now, uh, also notice we talked about how prices did not have to surge right away. So we have these bars here, these three bars were, you know, for the next three hours, prices did not necessarily go right away in the direction of the bar pattern. But right after that, we got that surge we were waiting for. Now, the second setup here is the same way. What's interesting here is the second setup is actually very close to Dragonfly Doji, and that's why when somebody asked previously, is this like a, an engulfing candlestick pattern, the answer is no, it doesn't have to be. In this case, it's actually a Dragonfly Doji. Ran all the previous stops below, reversed hard up, and then closing near the, in the top 25% or above the high of the previous bar. 
And you'll notice right here, it's hard to see this, but there's little asterisks before and after the bar, which indicate that the close was not above the previous high or the previous bar extreme, but within the top 25%. And that's still very valid. So combining this, great surges, and surge setups with the 2MA cycle indicator, again, that's another free indicator we offer, uh, along with the bar pattern is very, very powerful and can be something you, you absolutely want to watch. Let's take a look at some cell examples here. And this is, again, on 60-minute crude. And you'll see that uh, nice peak right here, very close to the surge setup. Not quite there. It's more of a, a, a reversal setup. But for right here, we, we see the timing with the bar pattern. And then we see a nice sell-off here in crude oil prices. So really nice there. Second one, this is a textbook surge setup right here and the timing again is capped off with the bar pattern right there and then we see prices sell off for two or three price bars and then fine last but not least now this one right here is the worst one okay there's not really a setup here it's happening down here you know kind of uh, down here after the the peak of the cycles taken place and this is a no man's land right there so this is also larger than normal as well so this is one we probably want to ignore, and as it turns out, this goes nowhere. So the other bar patterns had some nice confluence with the 2MI cycle indicator, and uh, combining them together was very powerful, but the third one did not have that. In fact, if anything, you see the 2MI cycle indicator putting in higher lows here and higher highs, which is telling us that the crude market was looking for a low there and starting to, to gain some strength, at least shorter term. Okay, now in this one, the bar pattern is occurring after consolidation. So I like this pattern here because you'll see that we have all this, this, these lows really in, in tight proximity here. And this one bar came down, swept out right at the very bottom here, all the, low, all the cell stops below the lows of the previous, looks like six bars or so, and, um, and then instantly reversed hard and closed above the high of the previous bar. So this is a fairly large range here compared to a lot of the other ones we've seen, but very nice. So this one's a very nice setup because of the, the number of bars that had lows in close proximity, and, uh, and we were able to take those out. Now, if you want to see this happen in real time, if you see the, a bar open up and then run some stops or break below recent support, and that's really what's happening here, and then stall out immediately, that's a clue that uh, rule number one could be happening. Then after that, you want to see a strong reversal. So if you want to be really aggressive here with this bar pattern, even before it's a bar pattern, you see the breaking of recent lows, cleaning out the stops, and then prices stall. They go nowhere. There's no new selling coming in. You could drill down. This is 60 minute. You could drill down to like a tick chart and start taking some aggressive buy signals in the opposite direction. If you see that happen, especially if prices start drifting above recent support and, and you start seeing strong buying coming into the market. Okay, now uh, bear with me here. I'm going to start to, to take questions here in just a bit. I want to make sure I get through all the slides and then I will get to your questions. Now, uh, you can use MACD with the bar pattern as well. This is a, an example here, and forgive my pen here. Uh, I, I, like to use, uh, I like to use PowerPoint's pen compared to GoToWebinar's pen. GoToWebinar's pen is a mess. It, it works, seems like, half the time. It doesn't work other times. So this is where you add the confluence here. You have a, a, a low here with MACD, a higher low here with the indicator line, and the histogram here is green while the bar pattern is taking place. So very strong buying conditions. This is a bar pattern you definitely want to pay attention to. And then we have another one up here. This is similar to the screen we looked at before, but now we've got the MACD. This one is, I would say, not really supported all that much by the MACD, other than the fact that you've got a pretty strong reading up here. You don't see the higher lows, though, that I'd like to see there to support this. But it's one of those neutral ones. It's not being hurt, but not really being enhanced by what the MACD is telling us there. Now, if you have a chance, after you install your bar indicator and you trade the bonds, the bond futures contracts, the, the bar indicator on the dailies, it's amazing, uh, hits nails a lot of the extremes. So right there, we've got the extreme low here on a daily basis, a really nice run up here and prices, and then yet again, the extreme low here is the bar indicator. And then uh, it, it turns around, and then you have another really nice run up here in prices as well. So check out the daily bonds, bond futures, 
and put the bar indicator on there. And when that happens on a daily, that may be something you want to really pay attention to because that tends to work out pretty well. Um, again, but it's strengthened by, uh, by confluence. Now, I'm going to throw up a new indicator that we just recently developed uh, with the bar pattern. So this does appear to be a little bit noisy, and I'll, I'll explain what's happening here in just a second. But what I wanted to show you here is another example of the U.S. Treasury bonds daily. Uh, here's your bar pattern. I've got the white arrows here to help you see them, but it's still the yellow bar right here. You can see the yellow text right there and the yellow text right there. Uh, this is actually being used with another indicator called the MQ Pro Cycle Setups. I like the two together. So the Pro Cycle Setups is designed to identify a number of different setups in the markets, including surge, divergence, acceleration, and reversal. So it, it does a pretty good job of that. Now, I have this, this the, the um, Pro Cycle Setups set to the most sensitive settings. So by doing that, it, it, it reacts more quickly, but it also has... Uh, sometimes we'll have more false signals as well. Uh, the other indicator you see up here is called the MQ surge bars right here, and you'll see red bars. These bright red bars are surging down. That says heavy selling is coming into the market, and the bright green bars are identifying upsurge, so strong selling is coming into the market. The dark green is like a rest. That means the buyers are resting a little bit, so it's like a consolidation for buyers. The dark red is consolidation for sellers, and blue is totally neutral. So blue means nothing happening, nothing can, that can be read from the markets. Now, the reason why I like the surge bars in conjunction with the setups, in conjunction with the bar pattern, is because if we see a bar pattern, I want a, like a, a bearish one we see right here in the first, this is the first uh, white down arrow. Notice the next bar is a strong dark or light red, bright red surge bar down. So what it does is it tells us if we're on track. If you're looking for a bearish setup, you want to see the bright red down surge bars like right here. You see a really nice down move right there, and the bars are flashing bright red, which is saying strong selling is coming in the markets. The opposite is true over here. You see the uh, bright green bars indicating strong selling is coming in. I'm sorry, buying is coming in the markets there. And this is a great indicator to, to show us that we're on track. Okay, now this is, again, a very noisy screen, but I wanted to show you the way I like to use the confluence, the bar confluence here, with some of the cycle setups here with the MQ cycle setups indicator and the pro cycle setups, and then also with the surge bars. So this is what I like to look for here after the bar unfolds. So we've got the bar pattern right below the white arrow here, and notice we have a DIV there. It's a divergence right there, and then we have our, our bright red surge bars. So... Right after that, I'm seeing that selling is coming in the market. Surge bars are saying heavy selling is coming in. It tells me I'm on track with my bearish or my short position, and uh, I want to hold it as long as that happens. The dark red are telling me, hey, be careful. It's, it's the buyers or sellers are, are running out of steam or taking a break. The bright green says all bets are off. It's no longer a bearish setup scenario. And I'll show you more examples of that as, as well. Now, in this particular case, notice with the, the MQ Pro Cycle Setups Indicator, and this is the same thing you can see with a, like a, uh, any type of momentum indicator, but we're getting lower peaks here. So I'm getting a bear, like a double bearish divergence here, lower peak, lower peak, lower peak, and then I have higher prices there. So I'm getting a bearish divergence here, and then to cap that off, a double bearish divergence, and then I have the bar pattern. So let me just draw that so you'll see it. I'm going to erase everything. Draw that so everybody can see that. But this is where it gets very powerful. So here's peak number one. Here's peak number two. So here's peak number one up here. Here's peak number two up here. And then we finally have three. And then the MQ Pro Cycle Setups is flashing divergence there. And then we get our bar setup. You see how powerful that is? So this has happened on a, on a double bearish divergence. And then we have a lower peak here with the indicator, bearish divergence number one. And then lower peak three here is bearish divergence number two and then we get the bar pattern. So when you see that, that can be very powerful. This is a daily chart of Apple. This next bar, we absolutely want to be looking at intraday sell signals there. Drill down, maybe 60 minute, 15 minute, 30 minute, looking for those selling opportunities. Look at tick charts as well. So, okay. Um, all right, I'm not sure what that, let's see here. Sure what this is, uh, the Smiths. Uh, 
Okay, uh, no, I'm sorry, I'm getting a, a question there. I guess it's sticking out, so I apologize for that. Um, so anyways, this is how that works. Now, uh, this is another example, not quite as pronounced here uh, with the pointer. Again, I'll get to questions here in just a minute, so bear with me. This is a slight weakening, bearish divergence. We have higher prices. We have the DIV. It's, it's a red, and because it's red and above the price bars, it's bearish. And then we now have our bar indicator. Now, this is... Not this is I would say a medium or a, a medium level bar setup here. Okay, in the context of a divergence, we have a single divergence, and then we get that follow-on bright red bar. That's where we want to sell. This is a daily chart of Apple, but notice we don't get much of a fall through after that. We have a dark red after that. That should serve as a caution to us. And the the power, you know, the, the really powerful aspect of doing this is if you have an effective uh, you know, signal logic like uh, smart bubbles or hedge fund trader or intelligent breakout. Intelligent breakout is another free one indicator we created, uh, and, and check that out with our webinar. I'll do that again here upcoming in hopefully late March, early April. But you want to drill down, look for those signals and the rule-based logic, and that protects you too once the setup starts going the opposite direction or stop, stops going in the desired direction. It protects you from getting chewed up too much, you know, if, if uh, the setup doesn't pan out as much as you want it to. This is an example here of the, the support I was talking about. So you have two levels of support here, and they're not, neither of them, I would say, are substantial, but you'll see that the bar indicator actually breaks the, the top level support, reverses hard, you get the bar indicator right here with this white arrow, and then you start to see the surge. So you have it reverse. A, a, um, if it's dark red here, I'm using the surge bars again. That's fine. That's saying the, the sellers are, are running out of steam. This is what you're looking for. You want the bright green bars. Look at that surge. I mean, beautiful. This is Daily Apple. Just takes off in the up direction. It held the lower support, broke the top support. So that's where that bar indicator starts to become very in, more influential than if it were by itself. Now, beyond that, we also have a cycle bottom due. So right down here, cycle bottom, cycle bottom. So that's that timing coincides with when we would expect a cycle bottom as well. So all that works together nicely. This other bar signal over here that has the white arrow above it, we want to ignore that, okay? Because there's nothing out there that, that tells us, I, I don't see a bearish divergence. Uh, there's nothing, there's no other type of analysis that's flashing a sell there. And this is a lot, much larger than previous bars as well. So even if we were bearish, this has gone down quite a ways. You know, you see the Apple sold off maybe three dollars a share or so, and so it's eroded a lot of the downside profit potential anyway. So we want to X that out. Not interested. It's by itself. It's not being supported by a you know support level here or an expected cycle top or bottom. Here's the cycle top over here, right there. The next cycle top is over here. So it's kind of in no man's land. So just ignore that type of a bar setup when you see that. Now, again, you can use, you know, this can be something that can enhance it a little bit right here. If you expect the cycle top, I'll put a T there, or B for bottom, all right, and you get the bar pattern. This is the bar pattern right here, projecting that prices will go down. You see a kind of a weak response to the market here. So you have dark green bars, which are the, the uh, buyers are resting, you know, we want to see bright red if we can. This is what we'd prefer to see. These downside surge bars with the MQ surge uh, paint bars, we don't see that. Now, the next one here, this is where we expect to cycle bottom right down here. The timing of that is fine. There's not nothing else that really, there's no other setup really that, that supports that. But we do have that timing element of the cycle bottom, so we get the surge bars after that. That's what we want to look for and really uh, hope to experience and that's the nice thing about the MQ surge bars is that that's really confirming that uh, that powerful bullish setup there. Okay, now this is what we what you want to avoid as well. Let's look at some failed bar patterns. Here's one right here, and then there, here's another one shortly thereafter. Okay, so there's not really a lot supporting that. Now I have my divergence setting to to the most sensitive level, and this is a little bit of a double-edged sword. If I catch divergence right then I'm, I'm quicker to move in and take advantage of it. But it, it, it generates a lot more false signals. So I, I know that just from experience. And right here, this divergence right here is immediately invalidated by this dark red bar. 
that trades below the divergence bar. So that's that I can stand away from and realize that's invalidated. Same thing right here. I have divergence, and then the next bar, again, is trading right below that, and it's red. So if it were valid divergence, I'd want to see the green surge bars right after that. So in the context right here, we're seeing you know lower highs here in the market. So lower high, lower high, lower high. It's a downtrend, clearly, and then we see the bar patterns here really not unfolding with anything prompt you know, any type of uh, setup that's worth looking at. In fact, if we had a bearish bar pattern up here, that would have been ideal because we had that 2MA cycle surge to the downside setup. We didn't get that now, but had we had that there, that would have been extremely powerful. And again, our downside surge bars are bright red, saying the sellers are coming in and hammering prices. All right, so again, bear with me. I'll, I'll be with questions in just a second here. Uh, this is a great one as well. This is the downside surge as well here. Uh, you can see that in the bottom 2MA cycle indicator where we have a down cycle, strong down cycle, strong selling presence, weak buying presence on the up cycle, and then the follow on down cycle. So that bar right there, that bar indicator right there at the, the, the peak is beautiful. And that's what you definitely want to pay attention to. Uh, this is the bar signal over here as well, this huge downside bar. You want to steer clear of that a little bit. Be careful about that. Now, if you're trading intraday and you happen to catch that reversal and are able to catch that, you know, some of the short action there intraday, uh, that's fine, and you can take advantage of that. In fact, something you want, you can watch for. This doesn't always pan out, but notice how we have the, a lot of lows right here. We have a lot of lows right here too. We have two very close to each other. So, if you trade this at all, what you're going to want to do is is catch the short early on if you can and then be short from, from this level right here. And then if you're fortunate enough to catch that and you get a follow through like that, that's great. If this is after the fact, if you want to just trade the bar patterns after the fact, this is one you'd probably want to pass on because it's already gone down so much here and eroded so much of the downside potential with the setup, you just want to essentially pass on that, okay? Um, let's go on to the next one here. Now, another thing you want to be mindful of, if you happen to get a confluence, like right here, there's, this one's not really supported by anything, but here's the bar pattern right here, and then you do get the follow-on surge bar, but notice the surge bar is actually weak. We break the previous highs over here, barely, and no new buying comes in. So it's hard with my drawing here. Let me erase that. So right here at the very top of the surge bar, we're at new highs, breaking maybe the previous uh, 20 day to 20 bar highs, if you will, and there's no new buying coming in to, to thrust prices higher. That's a huge red flag right there. So after that happens, then I would be suspect, and sure enough, we go to blue. You're done. So if you see, if you're using the MQ surge bars here, and you get in the blues, or if you get in the reds after a bullish uh, surge bar, then you're done. But this is so large right here that unless you caught that early on, you probably wouldn't have taken advantage of that. So this is one that, frankly, I would I would probably advise skipping, and I probably would have just missed myself. But just be mindful of, of those and, and how they can unfold sometimes. Here's one over here, downside surge bar, that was nice, and it unfolded in a bright red bar. So this is strong selling presence in the market, sold off for another two two days or so, or two bars, I'm sorry, these are 60-minute bars, and uh, and you got that, that uh, fall through. Then you have the surge set up here, Nice, beautiful surge setup there in the, the pro cycle setups. And then you get the bright red selling, bright red bars there, pushing prices of Google. Looks like about uh, maybe $10 per share lower over the course of about two hours. So really nice setup there. All right. Uh, let me touch, <coughs> excuse me, let me touch base on the cycle and version setup, and then I'm going to take questions on both. I just want to make sure we've got enough time to talk about both here, respecting everybody's clock. Uh, the cycle and version setup is, is a great setup. Now, the cycle inversion setup occurs when a market is in the upcycle mode and prices continue to make lower highs. Okay, so this is the opposite case for the down cycle. Let me show you graphically what I'm talking about. So, again, right here, this, this cycle right here is an up mode. I mean, it's, it's the buyer's turn to come in and show us what they're made of. And you'll notice here that we have lower high, lower high, lower high. And then we get our bright red surge bars. Okay, and then notice right here, this is actually an acceleration setup according to the MQ, the Pro MQ uh, cycle setup here. And so the acceleration is a great setup, but it doesn't always have to be the acceleration setup. The uh, cycle inversion can happen without it actually being an acceleration setup. But this is a, a great time to jump in 
if you have like smart bubbles or you have a m momentum indicator and you, on the short side you want to jump in and ride the momentum so this is a total momentum play when you see the, the bearish cycle inversion setup again the idea here is during the up cycle of your sick cycle indicator you're getting down lower high lower high lower high so the buying presence is so weak and the selling presence is so strong you're not even getting really any higher highs in your bars right there this is on a 15 minute uh, treasury bond chart as well uh, the next example same type of thing just a different place right here very short lived up cycle and then right here on your chart you're getting you know lower high lower high lower high and then you get your bright red surge bars so strong selling comes in a lot of times after the cycle inversion setup you need to see in fact you want to see the surge and with the surge bars this is telling you heavy selling heavy selling heavy selling and then you want to take full advantage of that and then you can you can get out of that with a momentum if you want or whatever other logic a rule based logic I recommend using at least a rule based whatever logic you're using to get out uh, but but so you're looking for right after the the inversion here uh, well, you know the period where the white arrow here is a period where the up cycle should be taking place is the period where the buyers should be pushing prices up uh, but it, it doesn't happen and then right after that that surge down here is all you're expecting and so you're not trading this forever this you stop trading it here after so this whole period afterwards not trading it you just want that initial surge or a couple bars and then you're done let me show you another example here uh, this is a great example as well for whatever strange reason treasury bonds on 15 minute basis sees a lot of these so this is the up cycle again right here and then a down cycle again this is acceleration setup identified by uh, the MQ pro cycle setups indicator and then surge bars are bright red so this is what you want you know you want to see strong selling presence prices get hammered you want to ride that out and then you're done so uh, let me show you one upside example as well this is on Apple on 30 minute and so you see the down cycle is supposed to be taking place right here right but you see higher low higher low higher low higher low so it's the opposite case and then right after that down cycle you want to see really strong buying surge and you do see that so the bright green surge bars MQ surge bars are telling you buyers are coming in really strong here you're right on track if you bought it and continue that and expect that to kind of round out with the next surge higher and that's exactly what happens with the cycle indicator and with prices as well okay uh, let me take a few uh, questions here and then we'll uh, we'll go on so I, thanks for your patience by the way um, okay can we scan for this bar yeah uh, you know what you can't we don't have the indicator right now it's just a visual indicator but but if enough of you want the scanner you know we could we could always look to try to make that okay so just let us know okay can you pr provide a link to the 2MA cycle indicator uh, uh, Troy give us a call or, or shoot us an email at, at uh, support at valuecharts.com and we'll get you the link I don't have that memorized I apologize for that uh, what is your website valuecharts.com that's v-a-l-u-e-c-h-a-r-t-s dot com in fact let me go ahead and show you something as well now uh, the way we do things at value charts um, is that I'm a speaker once every so often and this quarter I haven't uh, had any major workshops yet so the March is going to be my first major workshop for the quarter let me show you I'm doing something I've never done before alright so just hang in there we're going to come right back to the the bar set up here and talk about some confluence and I'll throw some uh, symbols up that you want to see but let me show you what I'm doing for the first time ever really uh, with my my uh, workshop that's coming up so let me just point this out since you are asking for my website anyways um, my favorite I'm doing my favorite setups workshop in March okay so these are some of my favorite setups here that I am going over now what I'm doing here that's different is I've actually developed a number of indicators for um, I've developed a number of indicators for myself okay to find these setups but what I'm doing here is I'm actually tr teaching you how to use these indicators so the indicators you saw there that I love for confluence with the MQ or the MQ bar uh, setup I love the MQ pro cycle setups indicator and that's designed to using pivot point technology designed to identify four bearish setups and four bull setups in real time and we'll throw up some examples here if you want to see that but I'm, I'm teaching on that I'm going to teach uh, also how to use the surge bars now the surge bars and the surge dots are the same tool they're just communicated in two different ways so what this is designed to do is for any setup you have out there 
you know, for me at least, it's it's easy to get in the heat of the battle and when trading and and forget, you know, that that you have expectations for a setup out there. It's easy to do that. So if I see a surge setup or if I see the bar like a bullish bar setup, I want to see the the bright green buying come in and that's going to show itself up on the bars or the dots above the bars so these are two two uh, fabulous indicators that complement the MQ Pro Cycle setups and they complement any setup indicator for that matter so they, they show strong selling coming in they show strong buying coming in or the lack thereof so they're great the surge bar surge dots are great at showing you when you're right great at showing you when you're wrong too with, with setups as well very powerful as well now these are all developed for TradeStation T, uh, TOS, TD Ameritrade, Ninja Trader, Sierra Charts, and eSignal. If you're interested in MT4 as well, let me know. and We can look to develop it there as well. But those are being developed or, or for this uh, workshop for these five platforms right now. So let me show you what we've got here. I think you're really going to like this. I'm doing this workshop, and I'm bundling the indicators in there. The indicators are going to be for, uh, available for sale afterwards, but the workshop is going to actually include, free of charge, the indicators. Now, Everything I'm offering here for my March workshop is 100% satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. All right? If you're not happy, if you don't feel like you got way beyond the value of the cost of the, web, of the workshop, then, then just give us a call. We'll give you your money back. And uh, if you want to return the indicators as well, uh, that, that's the deal. So I believe you're going to like the indicators a lot. I believe that you're going to, you're going to benefit from the uh, workshop as well. So here's what this looks like. The, the workshop itself is going to be a 497 workshop. Okay, that's not what you're going to pay. Uh, the, the pro bundle, the pro setups indicator bundles 497. I'm going to do a special dedicated Q&A about two weeks afterwards, after you've had a chance to play around with the indicators. We're going to talk, address any questions that you have on how to use this, any good trading ideas, and, and that sort of thing. So ordinarily, this would be about $1,200 worth of workshops and indicator bundles. You're getting it all right now if you're interested, 397. So I'm giving you essentially the the pro setups indicator bundle in the workshop for a reduced price of uh, for less than what the workshop ordinarily goes for. What's in the workshop? Let me just show you this and I go back to take uh, some questions about the bar indicator. So my favorite setups, this will be on March 31st. It is recorded. I'm going to talk about the four bearish and four bull setups that I love with cycles. The surge, acceleration, reversal, and divergence. And this is automatically being plotted in your chart with the MQ Pro Cycle Setups Indicator. So you don't have to worry about, you know, how do, how do I have to recognize all these setups? It's being done for you. You just can define the strength of the, uh, the pivot points. So if you want a little stronger pivot points or a little weaker, I tend to like the, the more reactive pivot points myself. Now, I'm going to talk about also these, these four bullish, four bearish setups, how to use, how to trade with the MQ Pro Cycle Setups Indicator, confirmation or failure, when it works, when it doesn't, very, very important. And we're going to use MQ Surge Bars for this. These are great for that. Uh, the shelf life of a setup, talk about that. Confluence strategies, I'm going to show you confluence strategies, including the bar indicator, which you now have for free, and also some candlestick patterns as well. So price bar patterns and how to use these with the the uh, my favorite setups uh, tools, and then last but not least, how do you how do you take signals? How do you drill down and take rule based logic signals in the direction of a setup? So I really believe you're going to like this. Uh, again, three ninety seven. Not it's not five hundred dollars. It's not eleven hundred dollars for all this. If you want to go after the fact and buy the indicators by themselves for five hundred dollars, you're welcome to do it. But why not get the whole you know the whole a package here with the workshop for 397 that includes the indicators. So, you know, if you're planning on buying the indicators, buy the workshop, get the indicators for free, save yourself some money there. All right. So that's what it comes with. And again, let me um, go back over questions here. Uh, this is going to be available. Go to valuecharts.com, www.valuecharts, and this is where customer services as well. If you have any questions, dot com forward slash mark my name. So go there, and this is going to be uh, this is going to be where that is. Just one second here. Let me type that in. Uh, Valuecharts.com forward slash mark. Okay, that's the that's the link you're going to want to use, and um, and and go with that. So again, if you're planning on getting the indicators, buy the workshop and get the indicators for free for less than you'd ordinarily buy the indicators.
It is. I, I, we haven't done this before, right? So we're, we're trying this new. I think you're going to like it. Um, but I started out, the whole genesis of this workshop was with these indicators. I was seeing a lot of these great cycle setups happen over and over and over again. And these are such a great complement to other types of setups out there. When you see the stars align, they become extremely powerful. I mean, literally one of these setups here, if you catch one of these setups, you should make more than, than $500 on a single contract in some markets, all right? So that's why I'm giving you 100% money back guarantee. You're not thrilled if you're not very happy with all these tools, all the education. Give us a call. No questions asked. Although we like to understand, you know, why you're if you're not satisfied. I think you're really going to like it. I think it'll be well worth it. Um, okay, let me uh, let me get back to some questions here. Okay, do you need value charts? You do not need value charts or the value bars with this. All right. Now, it, value charts and value bars can help, but you don't need it. None of the none of those tools are going to be required for any of these setups. Does it work on futures? Uh, uh, Richard, it works incredibly well on futures. Let me throw an example up here. So if you, I don't know if you've been following the, uh, in fact, let me, let me do this real quick here. Uh, if you've been following the, um, let me go back here to the, uh, just a second here. Okay, if you've been following the crude oil market, all right, let me get uh, trade station up here. Uh, you know that we've had a huge sell-off here. All right, in recent in recent weeks, let me show you as, as an example. I had a question: Does this work on futures? Uh, and then I'm gonna get back to the bar. We're here to learn about the bar uh, bar setup as well. So let me throw this up there really quickly. So crude oil on a daily basis. All right, we all know that it had the huge sell off. It had a number of beautiful setups here. Uh, in fact, uh, yeah, it, both recently and over the past couple months. So during the crude oil meltdown here, we literally had you know like seven beautiful sell setups in a row. So you had a reversal pattern, acceleration, reversal, acceleration, surge, acceleration, acceleration, reversal. And crude oil got crushed every bit of the way down. Now, again, I've got my divergence set to the, the most reactive setting, and I know I'm going to get some false alarms there, but the beautiful thing about that is my downside surge bars invalidate those. So I, if I have bright red downside surge bars, I know the sellers are coming in and pounding that. Okay. Um, this is recorded, by the way. So, uh, uh, Steve, you're asking if this is recorded. Yeah. So the whole workshop is going to be recorded. You can watch that anytime you want. All right. So, yeah, if you want to buy the webinar, you don't actually have to come to the webinar. The webinar is recorded. You can get your indicators, watch it at your leisure, and then you can come to it. I would recommend, though, if you can, come to the Q&A session, which I'll have about two weeks afterwards. And the whole idea of the Q&A session is I want you to be happy. I want you to make money with this stuff. So come and try the indicators out yourself. Look for the setups. I'm going to talk about how to, to set the indicator up, how to set all the settings up, and, and uh, different types of, of uh, confluence patterns. Use your bar. You know, Make sure you have your MQ bar indicator you're getting for free today installed. That's a great one to use with this. Um, this will be available for Sierra, Steve. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, got to the got out of work late. Hey, Peter, uh, good to see you here. Just logging in, attending, wondering how we get the indicator. You should receive for the bar indicator, MQ bar. You should receive a link, uh, Peter, for that. So if you haven't, give us a call. Uh, go to valuecharts.com or support at valuecharts.com. We'll get you taken care of. Okay, what is the difference between the MQ Pro Cycle setups and Cycle Finder? Uh, Cycle Finder has a, a um, it's a little bit different. Cycle setups actually are, is designed to identify a total of eight four bullish, four bearish cycle setups. So it's an indicator at the bottom, but it's also the labels at the top. So I don't know if you all can see this, but at the top here of the trade station chart, there's all these labels like reversal, acceleration, surge. So I'm going to show you what all those mean. It actually identifies in real time these different setups. So that's the difference. A cycle finder doesn't do that. A cycle finder is a good tool, but it just doesn't do that. Okay. Um, Okay, if I buy the webinar and indicators, yeah. So you can buy, Steve, you can buy the webinar and the indicators will still be available. Yeah, so you can you get those. So just let us know, we'll take care of you. Uh, when does the bar signal print? Let's go back to bar and answer a bar question here. So now if you didn't if you're just coming late here, remember the bar rules, you just gotta run the stops here, all right, on this the the top area of this bar. This is the UST bonds, run the stop up here. And then it's got a reverse. So in the bar, and now let me go ahead and, and format the bar indicator. So I'm going to format. Let me go over the um, the format analysis techniques window here. 
Okay, so you're going to have a look back period. Two, there's two parameters you're going to want to know for the bar indicator. How many bars does it need to break the high or low of? Now, I have mine set either to five or eight. I tend to want to do that. Now, the, the farther back you set it, the more picky you're being with your bar setup and the more infrequent you're going to see it. So you're, what I really want to see with the bar myself is I want to see it clean out the stops going back for five to eight bars in general. You could do ten, but you're being a little bit more stringent there with the rules. But that's how many bars back you've got to exceed this, the, this, you know, the, the highest high, the lowest low up for the buy and the sell. The range mult here right here is this is set for those conditions where after the bar reverses and it doesn't close above the previous bar's extreme high for the buy or for the bullish one or extreme low for the bearish, but closes inside of the previous bar, that 0.25 really means I wanted to close for the bullish bar pattern in the top 25% of the previous price bar. Or for the bearish, I wanted to close in the bottom 25% of the previous price bar. And you can adjust your colors here too. We put that in there for people who are colorblind, but you can adjust the text or your dot colors as well. You can make your dots larger. So if you go to style here and I want to make my, you know, my dots a lot larger here, I'm going to make them as big as they can be. I'm going to show you, you can see what it looks like. So I can do that, but this is 5 and 0.25 are my standard settings there, and I tend just to leave it there. Okay, now you see a huge red dot here. That just made my dot much bigger, much easier to see there. Okay, um, Okay. when will the workshop be scheduled? Robert, that's going to be on March 31st. It is recorded, so if you miss it, you will watch the recording at your leisure. Uh, will it work in intraday bars? Yeah, this works great on intraday bars. So I've got... Uh, let me. I'm gonna throw up some symbols here in just a second here. So let me throw up like a 60-minute bond, all right, for the bar bar setup. Now check out your daily bond as well. Uh, that works great. But the 60-minute can as well. <clears throat> Again, we've got a really nice bar setup right here. It leads to a quick sell-off here just recently, and then we've got this huge bar right here. Now this is the one we want to ignore, all right? It's already gone way too far in our direction. And uh, that's one that we just, don't, in general, don't want to watch for. Yes. Now, intraday, I, I recommend mainly using, you could use the 30-minute, but primarily the 60-minute, 120-minute, 240-minute. All right, so those are the daily time frames I like to look at myself. By the way, if I missed your question, bear with me. I've got a lot of people on tonight. It's great seeing everybody here. Um, so, yeah, just bear with me again here. So let me, um, okay, you don't need value charts, yeah, or, or, uh, or for the setup. So uh, do you need value charts or value bars? Yeah, again, you don't need that for the setup. And those of you who want to come and uh, try this risk-free, again, if you're not fully satisfied with the indicators and the workshop, you can you can get your money back. All right, but I think you will. Uh, I think you'll be really happy with both of them. Okay, valuecharts.com. I'm just, uh, let me type this in again for those of you who are just getting here. And this is the link to sign up for the, uh, the workshop in March. March 31st, again, my favorite setups. Check it out. Do not go to the website because the website, you're going to overpay for it. Take advantage of the discount, okay? You're getting really $700 off this entire bundle, all right? Save yourself some money there. Okay, um, let's go to some other questions here. Okay, again, if I, if I uh, yes, the, uh, this is a recorded, this webinar is recorded tonight. The workshop will be recorded as well. So just uh, keep that in mind. Let me get a few more questions here. Okay, now you, you'll get a link for the recording of this webinar. So if, you, if you're late, uh, we'll send out a link for that as well. Okay, uh, is, does this work good on tick charts? That's a really good question. Let me throw this up here. So I'm going to try to get, just move my uh, questions window out. Again, the, the, uh, for the workshop here, for those of you who missed that, go to www.valuecharts.com forward slash mark. Remember, you get the bundle, the $500 indicator bundle thrown in with a $397 workshop. You're, yeah, we won't do this deal very often. I can promise you that much. Usually we sell the indicators and the workshops completely separately. Uh, tick charts. Let me go to the tick charts here on bonds. So in general, what I would say is bonds are a pretty liquid market, so you're probably looking at, let me try like a, a 2,500 tick here and hope TradeStation doesn't take three years to actually create these. Okay, so not too bad. Actually, what's interesting right now is we actually have a, uh, a bar pattern forming right now. Now, this may be one that's interesting here in the bonds. So for those of you trading bonds now, um, the thing to remember here is for tick bars, 
we need to know how far we are from the tick bar actually complete, completing. So for the bar pattern to be official, official, you need the bar to run its course and be totally formed. Okay, so uh, let me see here. Trade station, see if it's, uh, it's going to do its job here. Okay, so yeah, this is really interesting. This is actually coming down to be almost like a surge setup on the, on the 2500 tick bar for the bonds. So yes, you can use it on tick bars. Can be very powerful on tick bars as well. Let me go back in time. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. The, uh, the tick bars are just taking forever to update in trade station. So you can see it. Yeah, it does work. Definitely check it out. Um, can this be used for end of day traders? Absolutely can be used. In fact, that's what that's where I typically go. I usually use this on dailies. Again, if you're a bond trader, check out the dailies. So look how many different. Uh, let me move the question box out of the way here, but. Uh, look at how many different highs and lows this gets. So nailed the recent high here, the bar pattern did. Let's go back in time. Nailed the low right here. Let me compress this a little bit. Okay, so that did a great job nailing the high, and that was a downside surge. This is a textbook surge setup here in the bonds using the 818 settings. Here's the, uh, uh, the low here. So nailed the low right there as well. And then over here, nailed this low as well. Now, uh, right here, it... Yeah, so here it got the high. Here it, it, yeah, so here it didn't quite do it, but it, it you know, sputtered around for a day or two right there. And this, it, it, same thing. So a day of consolidation. So we have two misses there on the days, but quite often it does a really good job. Nailed the low there. Nailed the relative low here. Yeah, and that's all we're looking for. We're looking for it to, to, you know, here's a great high point, nice downside surge, low point, upside surge, low point, upside surge, high point, downside surge. So check out the dailies. And it works really well. If you, in fact, I'll take some requests here for uh, different symbols. Give me a second here. Let me take some questions, and then I will, uh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get to the, uh, the symbols. Okay, the tips of the bars turn yellow. Is that setup included? Yes, that is the, the, the uh, bar. That's the text. So that uh, that is, on this, this is the, um, I think you're asking about this, Bruce. Is this the, uh, uh, bar indicator. So this bar indicator you get for free with today's workshop or webinar. So yep, let's check out gold. We have a request for gold. Okay, yeah. So the bar, interestingly enough, for gold actually nailed the bottom back in November. So that was November seventh, and that was right on key support right there. So that was very meaningful right there. Um, that bar pattern. I talked about key support right there. Now this next bar pattern, and we talked about that. This one right here. Ignore that. I mean, it's, it, it, it ends up being right. The market does go up for a few days, but it's already gone up so much. That's a huge move right there in gold that you've already exhausted your potential, where this previous one did. And the second thing, remember, I told you, bar patterns don't have to go up immediately. Gold actually traded sideways for a couple of days before proceeding higher. So, yeah, uh, gold, it, it works well on. This is the dailies. Um, See, so you get back in time. Yeah, another low there. Did a pretty good job on a couple lows here, and nail the high. Yeah, so one one corrective high here, but the ultimate high right up here, that was back on the uh, March 17th of 2014. So yeah, again, I like to use confluence. This is a great bearish divergence here as well, using the 2MA cycle indicator. Okay, Mark, how well does the MQ Pro cycle setups indicator work on the overnight session? Um, you know, Mike, a lot of things, overnight session is challenging. It, it, it's not, there's not a lot of directional volatility. So if that's where you trade mostly uh, and you're not seeing that, you know, the, the, it, it, that's a different animal there. So it, it can work. Now, the principle is the same. Okay, if you're getting directional volatility, I believe that the pro cycle setups is going to be a great tool. Those will be great indicators for you to identify some quality setups. But you've got to have that volatility. If you're just chopping around sideways, then it's not going to be effective. Okay, but that's pretty much the case for all indicators as well. Uh, Mark, I have written, let's see, support about 2MA cycle. Tom, I apologize. Um, yes, Tom, shoot them. Support at valuecharts.com. Try it one more time. I'll reach them out to them. Tell them to look for your email. I don't know why that's happened. I do apologize for that. You should get that, and, and, and you should also get the... Uh, yeah, the uh, the bar indicator as well. I apologize. Min does a really good job, but sometimes he gets slammed and he misses. Uh, you know, he may miss uh, an email or two. So I do apologize. I don't know why that's happening, but I'll have him look into that. Okay, can you plot the two MA cycle 
uh, in, okay, for positive or negative diversion. Uh, okay, C can you plot the 2MA cycle? Okay, yeah, Min is great, Bruce, thanks. He, he, he tries hard, he's a good guy <clears throat> with customer service. I'm not quite sure what you're asking here, but if you're looking for a divergence, okay, this is where you want the, the, the uh, pro cycle setups. And again here, you've got the inputs here as well. I'm going to show you how to use all these inputs or, or what they mean and set these up here. But you're, you're basically looking for, if you want a stronger left shoulder and stronger right shoulder pivot strength here, then you can put that. And a lot of these divergences you see will disappear here. Right for, but I tend to like the I tend to like the more reactive settings here. But for divergence, you can set up, you can use the ProCycle setups for that and get that automation as well. Okay, I'm signing up, Kurt. Yeah, looking forward to having you there. Uh, I think you're really going to enjoy it. So these are these are unusual tools as well. I don't I don't know of any other uh, I don't know of anybody else out there who's created this. This is a little bit of a daring experiment here, but we want to create we wanted to try to call out a lot of these uh, these setups that occur with cycles all the time that are really high quality setups and then we wanted to create a tool with the surge bars that's going to um, you know that's going to show us when we're on track that that is so important let me just show you really quickly is is when knowing when you're on track let's try amazon and when you're not so for amazon this is daily oh yeah look at this for amazon the bar pattern nailed the low right before earnings so you actually had a, a completed bar pattern here and a surge. MQ cycle setups had a surge buy there as well. Now this case, you'll notice the surge bars are bright green. And that's strong buying coming into the market. And that's what you want to see. That's why the surge bars are so powerful because it tells you, is my setup on track? If not, you want to know it and you want to, you want to jump ship. You don't want to hang out with it or, or stay with a setup that's not doing what you expected. Like right here. This first divergence setup, it goes into dark green bars. It doesn't go into the red bars we'd want. The second divergence setup right here, you get the bright red bars immediately. So that's confirmed by the, the surge bars right here. Now, if you use, this is what's really cool, by the way. Let me show you something. If you use value bars here, okay, you don't have to use the surge bars. So I'm going to disable the surge bars here, right, okay, and I'm going to put the surge dots. So this is why we created both. So you can actually display surge dots. And then you can use your value bars, you know, or other types of bar it's too. I can actually change this if I want to to candles. So I can use my surge dots with candles. And now it's, it's colorful. I can change my candlestick colors so they don't clash with our red and green. But you've got a lot of flexibility here. The surge dots are confirming strong candlestick moves. If you're a candlestick trader, the surge dots are a great tool. Surge bars are a great tool, but uh, as well for that. But I don't think you'd want to use the bars of candles. And then the you can also use the pro cycle setups are great with candles as well. So they're calling out. Here's a surge right after a doji pattern, you know, and that surge is higher as well. Right here, uh, this is almost a um, a shooting star, not quite. And then you get your downside surge as well, surge dots as well. I'm going to go back and re restore the uh, price bars here. Okay, and I'm going to go back and restore the surge bar. So you get the surge dots and the surge bars, two different ways of plotting uh, those tools. I love them. I, it's great. I, I, I like a tool that tells me if I'm on track with my expectations. And when you think about it, that's what gets us in trouble as traders is we fall in love with an idea. We get it in our minds that a market's going to do something. If the surge bars are not confirming your opinion, then you're wrong. And if they're not confirming my opinion, then I know I'm wrong. I, I get out. So that's the beauty of those surge bars is they just, they've got to do what you expect them to do. You want to see the strong buying come in for a, a buy setup or the strong selling come in for a sell setup. So, okay, um, okay, the link, okay, download it link for, okay, somebody was kind enough to yeah, share this link. Thank you for, um, okay, let me see if I can get that. Uh, let me see if I can share that with everybody here. Rick, just one second here. Thanks for sharing that, by the way. Okay, uh, link. I don't know if people can copy that or not. We'll try it for uh, two or MQ or the uh, the two MA cycle indicator. Two MA cycle. Okay, so I'm going to post this for everybody and see if you can see that. Um, 
and yeah, and, and uh, take advantage of that. Uh, the surge setup is one of my favorites as well. The surge and acceleration, those are two that get away from people a lot, and they uh, they can be really powerful as well. Okay, uh, LNKD, you want to see some symbols here. Let's take a look at some bar patterns here and uh, and uh, see what we've got. So, And if I missed your question here, I apologize. We have a lot of people on tonight, and uh, sometimes it's a little challenging. Again, if you missed the, the workshop, it's, it's uh, let me show you one more time here, and I'm going to go to some some uh, 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 symbols for the bar pattern. The workshop includes the Pro Setups Indicator Bundle. You get the Pro Cycle Setups Indicator, and you get the, the MQ Surge Bars, MQ Surge Dots for TradeStation, Toss, NinjaTrader. If you have more than one platform, who it's a multi-platform license, NinjaTrader, Sierra Charts, and eSignal. Now, here's the thing. There's no risk to you. 100% satisfaction guarantee. So check it out and uh, come to the, the workshop. It'll be recorded if you can't make it. Check out the indicators, and I think you're really going to like them. I think you know at the end of the day, one one profitable trade pays for everything and more. So it's it's uh, very easy to overcome. 100% satisfaction, money back guarantee. Here's what you get: my favorite setups workshop, pro setups indicator bundle, normally $500 by itself, and then you get the dedicated Q&A session. Total value $1,200. You're getting it for three ninety seven. All right, you're not going to see that price uh, anymore. So take advantage of that if you if you are interested, and you'll get the indicators. If you're interested in the indicators, don't go buy the indicators. Okay, don't do that. Buy the workshop. You get the indicators for free with the workshop for a cheaper price than you would get the indicators. And again, I'm teaching the four bullish, four bearish setups: surge, acceleration, reversal, divergence, and the, how to use the pro cycle setups tool, the surge bars. Uh, confluence strategies, bar patterns, and how to bring it all together, and use drill down strategies and where to buy and sell. Okay, now I've said my piece there. Let's go on and and uh, check it out here. Uh, link did not work. Okay, well, well, uh, contact customer service. Go to valuecharts.com. Lower left hand corner of the home page is our telephone number and uh, also our uh, our support website. Okay, so our email address. Excuse me. So. Support at valuecharts.com. We will get to you, and I'll make sure I talk to them in tomorrow to make sure we're getting everybody taken care of. Uh, do you get a copy of the workshop? You get access, Jay, to a copy of the workshop, so it's online. Is there a deadline for the offer? <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a good question. It's, it, it, we're going to go to full price here at some point over the next week or two, so don't, yeah, don't take too long. Otherwise, you'll miss out. Uh, I'm not sure what the drop dead date is on that, but it does revert to full price uh, for the bundle and for the workshop here. This is the ultra, ultra early bird special. This is the first day we've offered this, so take advantage. Um, okay, yeah, so uh, Jeff, you said I had to copy and paste it to make it work. The link works great. So William and Jeff said that link works. Uh, so try to copy and paste that link in your browser, and it should. It, this should work, William. So, yeah, you got it to work. Okay, uh, is there a deadline? Okay, what is this Sunday webinar? Same thing as tonight, Jerry. So, yep, you don't have to you don't have to extend Sunday to get the free indicator. So, our, okay, the indicators for TradeStation are the indicators for TradeStation Bloodhound compatible. Uh, not sure what that means, Terry. Don't know what that means, but uh, should be compatible with everything. So, yeah, so Ninja Trader should be compatible with everything. I would think. If not, and remember you got a you got a full hundred percent money back guarantee with the workshop and the indicators. Okay, so let me uh, let me get started here and take some let's take some uh, some symbols here. Let's go back to the the bar setup. Uh, what uh, what markets do you want to see here? Okay, you have hidden your webinar window to copy the whole link. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, the two, yeah, the the two, the two MA cycle indicators on the the screen right now. So just contact our our, our support or that use that link that I copied up there earlier for everybody. Okay, is this the same as the MQ momentum? No, this is different. MQ momentum is a different indicator. Um, okay, I had a copy. Okay, let's see here. Uh, you have to widen the webinar window to copy the whole link. Oh, okay. That's all. Okay, yeah, widen your webinar window. You can copy the link. Okay. Okay, C-E-L-G. Let's take a look at it. C-E-L-G. All right. 
Uh, here's the, the bar. We've had a, a cell bar pattern. This was back in, it looks like September last year. Another one here as well. So not a lot going on there with the bar pattern as well. CELG. Let's take a look at what our CELG. Let's see if ProCycle Setups has it doing anything. Look at both. Uh, I don't see ELG. I typed that in right. Okay. Yeah, you've got a reversal pattern working now, but you've got, yeah, you, it's a little suspect. Yeah, so reversal pattern so far is in play, and let me see here. You know what? That, that might be actually, this last reversal pattern might actually be interesting because you've got a, a potential surge on your 2MA. Now, I will say this. With the rules of the surge pattern would require... This this uh, stock has got to roll from here, so I mean it's got to go up aggressively. Otherwise, I would have to say the surge pattern is going to be invalid, and I'd have to say the reversal pattern will be invalid as well. So a lot of just choppy action here as well recently. So the reversal, excuse me, reversal pattern worked well here on uh, on February 13th. Acceleration pattern didn't do a lot there. Reversal pattern worked uh, really nicely there on the sixth. The downside and the upside on the fourth as well. Now, when you get this, make sure you have your scaling right as well, okay? Because you can uh, you can miss some patterns that might show up above here if you don't have your scaling right. So you want to, you, trade station, you go to format symbol. I can actually select fixed scaling here. Let me change this to like 128 to see if there's any, any um, yeah, there's no, we're not really missing anything on the top. And nail the surge here and divergence was nice here but nothing right here. Nice reversal pattern there. Now, when you get the reversal pattern right on top of a doji, that uh, sometimes can add credibility there as well. Okay, I'm all in. John, excellent. We'll look forward to seeing you at the workshop. Uh, yeah, look forward to seeing that. Okay, does it work with e-signal? Yes, does work with e-signal, does work with, with TOS as well. Okay, can you use the indicator one minute and five minute time frames? You can. Let's check it out. Well, let's check the bar out. Let's put S&P 500. We're having people asking for that. Uh, let me let me pull this up. Uh, people ask about the five minutes. Let's see if there's many bar patterns. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. Okay, this is what in general you want to ignore. You got a bar pattern, the five minute right there. If it happens when you're seeing a lot of movement in the market, then it's a lot more. There's a lot more credibility there. But right there, not so much. Okay, this is not bad right here. You had a bar pattern to the upside. One of the downside that was a short lived there. Uh, yeah, this is really nice, obviously, caught that sell off right there, but uh, in general, and then it caught the top over here, so yeah, I guess it, it does have its periods, but, you know, the, the sideways price action, though, just, yeah, I'm not so sure about that, I, I think I'd go longer term if I were you, or at least making sure you're in a part of the day where you're getting your uh, you know, enough directional volatility as well. Okay, let's check out uh, for the MQ Pro Cycle setups at... Um, okay, yes. Okay, yeah, change that. It's fine. Uh, let's look at intraday here for pro cycle setups, like on 60 minute, or even, you know, let's go back to like a, uh, let's go back to like a 15 minute chart here. So, yeah, okay, you have a bar, a bar pattern to trigger there, and one, the downside here on your 15 minute. So, let's see, 30 minute price bars here. I'm going to compress this a little bit. So, yeah, you a lot of setups here are registering for the 15 minutes, some nice downside ones here um, that it caught, some nice upside ones over there. But, yeah, when, when you see a lot of choppy sideways action, you're going to want to either make sure that your pivot points are demand, more demanding, a little more stringent, or you just want to ignore that. So that's when I, when I say that, this period right here with all these blue bars, I mean, that's nothing. That's, that's neutral. Your surge bars are saying nothing's going on, so ignore that. That's just kind of a misfire there, and you, you know that's happening because you've got a pretty sensitive setting there for when you're getting directional volatility. Now, if you get the directional volatility and you have that, that pattern, then it's going to be a lot more reliable. So you have uh, right now a nice surge up, reversal pattern on the upside, and then you have acceleration pattern on the upside as well. So not all the now not all the setups are going to pan out. It's important to understand that. I've got the most sensitive setting here, so I'm probably going to have more misfires than normal, but it's worth it because I've got the MQ surge bars and I can weed those out. And I'll show you how to do that in the uh, in the workshop. 
Okay, great as usual. A bloodhound takes indicators and let you link them with conditions. Oh, interesting. Give you trade signals. Okay, interesting. Uh, Brian, yeah. Sean is contact. Okay. Yeah, interesting. Well, I know Sean. If it's Sean Beebe. Um, okay. Yeah, Lee, thank you. Uh, the bar pattern is similar to Tom's high-low, low-high pattern. I'm not sure. I don't think it's ex it's exactly the same. I'll have to go back and review that, though. Um Okay, what two indicators will be given for today's attendance? Two indicators, you get the you get the bar. And it's actually two and one. So you get the bullish bar set up and the bearish bar set up as well. Let me throw up the uh the two forties uh and you'll see some of those as well. Uh, a couple bar patterns. This one had a nice yeah, nailed the low really nicely there as well. This one actually worked out well, but that was a larger one. So if you waited for the correction, you did well on that one. So, yeah, not too terribly bad. So it might be worth looking at the 240-minute price bars for the S&Ps. Okay. Um, when will we receive the link for the bar pattern? You should get it, I'd say, by latest tomorrow. Let me let me ask my team when that's going out. I know a lot of people have already received it. So you should get that. If you haven't received it, you can always contact customer service at, at support at valuecharts.com. <clears throat> Excuse me. Go. In fact, uh, let, me, let me throw this back up here. Go to uh, this link here, right here, at valuecharts.com. I'll leave that up there so you can see that. But the, if you just go to valuecharts.com, you can go to the lower left-hand corner and see support. Go to valuecharts.com forward slash mark if you want to join me for the workshop at the end of the month that, that includes getting the free uh, bundled indicators. Okay, Rick, you got it. Excellent. Um, okay, when will we receive the link for the bar indicator? You should have gotten that. Okay, please look at these. Let's look at IDCC. IDCC. Okay, yes. Let's check it out. Okay, so you just came off. This is a 240 minute. Let me look at daily here uh, first. That's daily is my favorite time frame, obviously. Uh, coming off a beautiful topping doji pattern here. So you have a current today's action has a uh, uh, a, a, a bar pattern down pattern. So we had one over here that that caught a short-term top, looks like, and this one just caught consolidation before that. <clears throat> okay, let me look at uh, your other. Okay, you want uh, CDW, CDW. Okay, so yeah, so the bar pattern actually did a nice job of catching this low over here. Now, that was short-lived. It wasn't the ultimate low. Nice surge off of that. This is why you want the... the uh, the, you know the confluence is because that's going to do a better job of, of catching that now I also like for the 2MA cycle which again is a free indicator we gave out with the previous workshop I like the 5.8 settings as well so that's a nice so this one right here this is perfect this is exactly what I'm talking about now right here this bar pattern is right coinciding with the surge setup so you get that follow through right there this is coinciding with the surge downside setup so you really have a short-lived fall through right there, but if you're drilling down intraday, you should have maybe made some money there, or at least not lost a lot. Here, should, this should have been very profitable. Should have made some money on that. And then over here, this is kind of a little bit of a strange setup. This still qualifies, but right now, I'd say if this is a, if you're going off of a uh, surge setup, that you'd have to eliminate that, because right now the bars are, are drifting sideways, and you don't want to see that happen. You want to see a surge hit right away. So this bar pattern is suspect right there. Uh, B A B A. Let's take a look at that. Now I'll throw a bean oil in just a second here. Okay, nice. Nailed the top here. Bar pattern nailed the the high there in on the 23rd. Nailed the absolute high back on the uh, 13th of November, and then nailed the low. So it actually works really well. Bar pattern nailed a couple extremes here, and uh, this was back on October 15th for uh, Alibaba. So that worked out nicely. Uh, soybean oil at B O. Let's check it out. I have my, uh, yeah, so you see that, it, yeah, it did a nice job here of this recent low. And this is, again, this is the confluence. Now, this was not a surge setup right here, but this could have been a reversal setup. I'd have to go back and look at the the uh, uh, MQ Pro Cycle setups to see if that actually was indeed a uh, um, a reversal. Okay, Apple, A-A-P-L, okay. Uh, nothing doing on Apple, not so much. Now, Apple, I think, 
with the Pro Cycle setups is doing more. So Apple up here. Okay, Apple. And then I'll throw the dailies up here to see what's doing. Okay, so yeah, we have a surge of the downside right now for Apple. And with today's action that's being, you got your, your surge bars that are turning bright red. So right now you had some nice upward setups here. And now you have your surge of the downside. So yeah, today, after taking that surge, you want to you be a seller today. So, yep, that looks good. <clears throat> so I would be expecting this to, to hopefully fall through some more downside selling here in, uh, off the surge setup. Okay, um, uh, CMG, CMG. Okay, um, not a lot going on there lately. So this is kind of this just consolidation right here. I wouldn't be necessarily trading. I'm now again. I've got this set to super sensitive, right? Now I'll show you what I do. If I go in here and say, okay, it's it's sideways. I'm going to have less sensitive pivot points. You'll see how it cleans that up a lot during sideways price action. See how it. It, it, it removes a lot of those, so it's more demanding. So we've got divergence right here. That's actually working out okay, the downside. So it's sold off since then. This upside divergence had two, when you have a, a neutral bar, two in a row right there, you pretty much write that off. You want to see results pretty quickly there. Really nice reversal right here. So that turned out to be pretty well. Uh, not bad upside here. You had a nice bar pattern back here. Uh, that was on uh, the 16th of January. So uh, HDB, let's take a look at it. HDB. All right. Uh, yeah, beautiful surge. I mean, look at that. That's a textbook surge pattern right there. So I'm a, and I'm going to change my settings and my my two MA cycle to five and eight, a little more sensitive there. And you have the same thing right there. Yeah, both both are registering surges here. So yeah, really nice divergence worked out well. Surge the downside actually didn't do too too uh, terribly bad. And you had a reversal pattern. So uh, CMG uh, uh, doing or HBD, excuse me, doing really nicely there. Okay, uh, remember monthly employment report will move the market tomorrow. Yes, it will. Yeah, good, good reminder there. Exactly. Uh, is the workshop online? The workshop is going to be live workshop, Benjamin, at the end of the month. I'm going to fulfill it on the last day of March, March 31st. It will be recorded, so it will be online if you can't make that. And then, uh, uh, yeah, available. Okay. Uh, let's see, I'll put up a few more here, just a second here. Uh, this is Mark, could you please explain the difference between MQ Pro Cycle Indicator and MQ Momentum? Oh yeah, there, there's a lot of difference here. Um, let me throw this up just one second here to answer that question. So I don't think I've got, yeah, let me, let me ins insert just one second here. Give me two seconds here. Insert, um, <clears throat> MQ momentum. Okay. Okay, so I've got this is getting a little bit crowded here, but I've got MQ momentum here at the bottom, and that's designed to, to do something a little bit different. We know a lot of the momentum setups out there, but um, that can be in, that can be used to enhance the pro cycle setups. Now there's a there's a momentum component to the pro cycle setups that you can use. Okay, like right here, we've got a divergence. Right there, with a we've got a higher indicator value and lower prices with a beautiful doji pattern there. So there are things you can use for confluence, but in general, let me throw this up here full screen. In general, they are different. So this is MQ momentum is a pure momentum indicator where the MQ pro cycle setups is designed to be more of a cycle indicator with a momentum component. But the primary purpose for MQ cycle setups is to show you the setups. Actually, display those on your screen. Okay, I've got some more requests. Okay, Google, G-O-G. -G. Okay, yeah, look at that. Beautiful. So you have the confluence here. You have the reversal pattern right there for the MQ Pro cycle setups. You have the bar pattern here. So it's really the bars nailed it. Bar nailed the top here back on the 17th of February, nailed the bottom here on the 24th, and then you got the reversal pattern to, to back that up as well. So, yep, uh, nicely done there. Surge, really nice surge set up there. Uh, reversal pattern was false here, but nothing gained, nothing lost. After it doesn't go your direction, after a few bars, you, you pretty much jump ship anyway. So, surge pattern played out, bar nailed the high, reversal bar nailed the low. So, working out really well there. Okay, uh, FB Facebook. Let's check it out. Okay, uh, reversal pattern, yeah, nailed it. Nice surge pattern up here, good. Reversal pattern, surge pattern right here is nice. Now, 
we had a bar pattern right here, those bearish, but we're not seeing, we're seeing bullish bars, and we're seeing the surge set up. So that's probably something you'd want to ignore right there. Okay. So yeah. Um, and then bar pattern here, ignore that. It's just large. It's not in context with any other setup. Now, <clears throat> yeah, we're, nice reversal pattern there. Nice divergence. Nice, nice divergence and surge pattern, patterns there to the downside. So yeah, good things are happening there uh, with Facebook. Now right now, you've got a, a doji, uh, almost a gravestone doji up there, but it's a surge bar. So right now, I, I don't see anything right now. If anything, I'd say be careful on the downside, but I don't see, this could be a potential bearish divergence. I mean, actually, maybe not. Uh, it would be with the 2MA cycle indicator, but not with, uh, not with the uh, pro cycle setups. Okay, uh, can you... Uh, Let's see, yeah, the email address, send it to support at valuecharts.com. That's, that's where I'm going to get it to. If you send your email to me, it's going to get lost because I'm not looking for those emails. All right, so if you send it to support, I'm looking for men. Men could get a hold of me and say, hey, Mark, I need you to respond to this email, and I, I try to do that. So send it to support at valuecharts.com, and it will get to me as well. Uh, I am up in North Austin, Benjamin. I live up in Cedar Park area. So I used to live in Steiner Ranch, but I moved over to Cedar Park and live up in that area. Okay, what indicators, what other indicators would you recommend with the MQ Pro Cycle setups? There's actually quite a few of them um, for daily charts and weekly bars. So let's throw that up here. So let's say Facebook. Let's say we want to f track Facebook on the weekly bars. All right, so you had a nice bar set up here in the weekly right there. So if you had the bar, you'd be watching that. And a nice surge. Let's see, to the upside, beautiful bar right there, nailed the high. Divergence, a little bit of a red flag right here, divergence right here. Uh, and then you have a bar indicator at the very top here, divergence at the top. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's getting quite a few. Now, don't forget, if your bars are right up against the top of the screen there, that you want to, you may want to adjust your scaling a little bit to make sure you're not missing any. Yeah, see, we've got a couple of uh, a divergence here at the top. But you want to make sure you're not missing that uh, any signals there. So right now you've got a bullish bar signal uh, that we're working off of, and you've got surge bars right here in the weekly. Let's throw up daily there. I think we already did that. Yeah. So daily uh, working off a reversal pattern right there. So okay, ninety-seven dollars represents the price. Uh, for, okay. Uh, I'm not sure what you're asking, Paul, uh, about that. So you get the indicator for free. The bar indicators are free, so there's no charge for that. Can you show the hedge fund trader with MQ Pro Cycles? Yeah, you can. Uh, what I would do, though, Neil, with that is I'd use your Pro Cycles for the, um, the setup. So right here, like, for example, here's Facebook. Okay, we've got a reversal pattern there. So let me let me drill down here. Just give me, give me two seconds here. I'll, I'll throw this up. Okay, so all right, I'm, I'm throwing this up here. Give me two seconds here. You know what? Uh, that is going to be. Uh, you know, I'm, I'll, I'll do that during the workshop or the next one. I, I actually, yeah, I'm, I'm for whatever reason, trade station is giving me a little bit of an issue here. Um, so, yeah, so I will do that for the workshop. I'll show you the the way to use either uh, uh, intelligent breakout. Uh, certainly, the hedge fund trader is a great one for drill down trades as well, and then show you some examples as well in that. Okay, uh, that is, I think, pretty much, hello from Florida, Bill. Yeah, good to see you here. Uh, this is recorded, by the way. So um, that is pretty much it. Okay, so let's see, Peter, you said, okay, we just received the cycle indicator free tonight. No, the, what you get tonight is the bar indicator. So the bar indicator is what you get for free, and you should be able to, you should have gotten a link for that. If not, you should expect that here very soon. Uh, great webinar. Thank you, Lee. I appreciate that. Great to see you here tonight, as usual. Uh, can you use this for 500 tick? To, uh, Hossein, thank you very much. I appreciate that as well, Peter. Thank you. Uh, 500 tick, yes, you can use all this. So let's look at the bar indicator. In fact, I'll throw up a 500 tick of Facebook 
Now, I need to, may have to play around with that. You might want to make that a little bit bigger, uh, tick parse or Facebook, because uh, it is a fairly active stock. Let's try 500 ticks and see how that works out. So as soon as possible. Yeah, so uh, right there you have a bullish one, but that doesn't play out right there. That actually... Okay, yeah, uh, I might even suggest for Facebook, that 500 ticks seems too short. I would try maybe like a 2,500 tick and see how that works. And we can, you can even try that on, and ProCycle Setups works great for that as well, so on tick charts as well. Okay, could you have Intelligent Breakout Indicator for the favorite? Yes, I will. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, Mike, if you haven't received that, Oh, for the Ninja platform. Yeah, let me let me see if I can get that done by then. Yep, and and then use that. Uh, let me see if I can get that done by then. So I'll, I'll try to commit to that, and then use that as a, a, a good example of drill down. Yep. Okay, so here's here's 2,500 tick. Now this nails the absolute bottom here. This is this is what you want to look for. This is a really nice bullish divergence here. I'm going to go over here to my left. So right here. You have lower prices, but look at your 2MA cycle, a much higher value right there. So you have a, a sell bar right here, nailed the top. I'm sorry, it's uh, Facebook. I'm sorry, TradeStation is still updating, so it's moving my stuff around. But right here at the very bottom, you have the bar pattern right there. It's beautiful, and you have a bullish divergence. So that's the type of thing you want to look for. And right here, the bearish bar pattern was off of a down surge. So the down surge didn't really play out too much here. But uh, but it's still I mean, good enough. You might have been able to make a little bit or at least break even on that. Right over here, the bar pattern on the sell side was nice. Nailed it for at least a little bit of a downside action there. Okay, sorry you said we will get <clears throat> in the mail. Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah, Peter. Uh, Peter, you're asking about email. Yeah, if you haven't received the bar indicator link, you should get that on an email. If not, be sure to get a hold of us with customer support. And again, uh, by the way, the customer support, just go to valuecharts.com here at the very top. If you want to sign up for the webinar, again, 100% money back guarantee. For the price of the webinar, early bird special, you get the bundle for free. So go to valuecharts.com forward slash mark. Let me just throw that in here. Uh, valuecharts.com forward slash mark. Do not buy it on the website. You're going to pay too much, okay? Go to valuecharts.com forward slash mark if you want to sign up and you get the indicator bundle thrown in. Uh, so the workshop will be in Austin, Texas. Uh, that's where I am right now, but with the workshop is virtual, so you can attend from the comfort of your own home, right? <clears throat> yeah, we, we need to have an on-site one at some point, but um, we just, uh, yeah, we need to do that at some point. Okay, uh, Saturdays. Okay, yeah, Sunday's webinar, uh, uh, Gerard is a repeat of tonight. So if you're here tonight, you do not need to come to Sunday. It's the exact same thing. Okay. All right. Well, everybody, great to see you. You know, I have to say, I, I, I'm going to brag on, on you all for just a minute. We have the classiest crowd here at, at Value Charts, and, and we to, to our events. I mean, I just appreciate everybody here, and um, uh, and it, you're just great to work with. All right. I know it's not the case. I don't take that for granted. So I appreciate everybody. Uh, you're just very kind and and uh, and great to work with. So we, we want to do the best we can for you and um, create the best products we can for you. And at the end of the day, our goal is to, to create as many of you, uh, profitable traders out there as we can. So uh, we're not holding anything back. Okay, well, that's it for tonight. Again, if you have not received your free uh, bar indicator, then you should get that. All right, that should be coming. And I'll, I'll see if they can blast list tomorrow again. And then... Um, uh, yeah, and then uh, Terry, you're asking, do you get all the indicators with the webinar bundle? Yeah, the workshop bundle. Yeah, if you're attending again the workshop here, yes, you do. You get the the workshop bundle indicators, MQ Pro Cycle setups, MQ Surge bars, and MQ Surge dots, and those are for all the different platforms as well. A 30 day money back guarantee. And I want you to be totally satisfied and I want you to love it. Uh, TradeStation, TD Ameritrade, Toss, Thicker Swim. Ninja Trader, Sierra Charts, eSignal. If you have another platform out there that's not mentioned up there, please let us know. Okay? So, and we will, uh, yeah, we'll try to design it for that as well. Uh, Simon, thank you very much. Uh, Steve, hey, I appreciate that. And Rajesh, great to see you as well. Rick, thank you. And, um, uh, yeah, <clears throat> do we take PayPal? Uh, reach out to us 
you know what? Yeah, yeah. Reach out to customer support. I think we can that way. So if you want to use PayPal, uh, contact us at customer support. That's support at valuecharts.com, uh, or call us, and we can get you taken care of through PayPal. I believe. Uh, is this a monthly fee? No, no. This is a one-time purchase. So for the indicators, you get these indicators. They're yours. You own them, and that's it. And it's multi-platform license, so there's no monthly rental or anything else like that. Uh, thanks, Bruce. Appreciate it. Uh, see. Thank you, Manny. I appreciate that. Let's see. Uh, it would be really nice if they would just include the download link. Yeah, you work, Bob, we're going to work on that. I agree with you. I, the download link ought to come with that. So good suggestion. Let me see if we can get that done in the future. So, yeah, so sorry for any inconvenience you, you run into with that. As, uh, as usual, uh, thanks, Rick. I appreciate that. Hossein, thank you. Mike, thank you as well. Edith, uh, great. See you as well. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Dansel, thank you. Say so show the bundle indicators with the 500 tick NASDAQ. Yes, let me show that. So show the bundle of indicators with 500 tick NASDAQ. Okay, so at NQ and then 500. Oh, so you know what? I need to change that to tick charts first. Tick. And then 500 tick. Okay. Now, I'm going to change. Now, I tend to like my settings a little more reactive, but you can see here. Now, this is why the night session or when things get slow, you don't want to really be trading or, you know, again, we, we, it, it gets a couple of these setups okay, but you want to, you really want to make sure you have enough directional volatility. So let me go back in time here when, when the market was ripping. So right up here, I mean, nice surge pattern, nice acceleration pattern. I'll have to wait for uh, trade station to stop updating. There we go. So earlier today, when the market was moving, we had, we had some nice patterns, nice bar pattern, right? The low there with the 500 tick. Then you had the acceleration, reversal, the upside. A divergence, again, is one that can be a little too sensitive, but you have your surge bars up here that invalidates divergence. Nice surge to the downside there, nailed that. So um, reversal, the upsides, yeah, that didn't pan out, but again, surge bars invalidated that. Surge worked well, the upside as well earlier in the day. So, yep. So it looks good. Uh, great presentation. Thank you, Dan. I appreciate that. Uh, are the rules for MQ bars available in a document? Um, you no, know they're all on the uh, presentation. Though. There's really not a lot of them. Okay, so if you, you the, the, you'll get a copy of the recording, just watch the first couple minutes of the recording, and, and it's all outlined there for that. And there's not really any hard, cold rules. There's just some best practices there and some slides there that uh, you may want to to take note of. George, thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, Bob, you as well. Um, and Fred, everybody, great to see everybody tonight. Um, okay, written rules would be great for me. Okay, well, let me do this. All right, uh, give, uh, bear with me, though, okay? I'm actually, um, I'm actually going to, it'll probably take me a day or two to get these. I'll try to create a PDF with some best practices for them to put up for the, the bar uh, uh, indicator. Or I'm having a lot of people, a lot of you ask for that. Uh, Reginald, thank you very much as well. So Susan, thank you very much as well. And I'll, I'll try to do that. Yes, will the indicators work with Forex? David, let me show you this. Uh, do they, they work great with Forex. All right, so let me show you like the Euro US dollar as an example. Okay, so uh, EUR USD, okay, right now has two great setups that are happening. Surge the downside. Actually, one, I've got a more less sensitive setting. So the surge setup right now is you've got the surge bars, which are flashing strong selling, and the surge setup. So it just nailed this in the euro currency. But if you go back in time, you'll see that it, it did a really good, nice job of, of capturing a lot of the really nice setups here. So, yes, the answer is works well in any market that's, uh, you know, fairly active. The, the more activity, the more directional price movement in the market, the, the more opportunities I think you'll find. Okay, PDF would be great. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, see if I can make that done. Give me a, give me a couple a day or two. I'll try to get it done tomorrow morning before I leave for or a check in for work just to, to have that available. So let me just try to do that and get that out there. It's not going to be anything fancy. I'm just going to jot some chicken scratch down. So if it's not formatted fancy, no, it's just me making it, and I'm not good at graphic design or anything. So I'll just get the rules out there, and and then uh, you guys can download it. Okay, uh, all right. I'm going to shut down, and I know a lot of you are going to be trading tomorrow, and a lot of you have to get some sleep tonight. So uh, great to see everybody. Thanks again for coming out. Hopefully I'll see, again, a lot of you at the workshop. Again, for those of you who will last time here, it's going to be 
at uh, www.valuecharts.com forward slash mark. Okay, do not pay full price on the uh, on the website. Go to that link. Save a hundred dollars off the workshop and get the bundle of indicators for free. It doesn't get any better than that. All right, so take advantage. All right. Uh, OM, thank you very much as well. And Paul, thank you very much. Have a great evening. And everybody, good luck trading. We're here to help you. If you have any questions, please give us a call or contact us at Customer Support. Go to Value Charts homepage, valuecharts.com. In the lower left-hand corner is our contact information, and we are here to help. So, okay, groups of indicators. Okay, do you have any groups who follow specific indicators, for example? Uh, do you have any groups? Neil, I'm not sure what you're asking there, but the, the live trading rooms do. The live trading room managers with Thomas and Dave tend to, they tend to follow some indicators with, you know, with that over time. But we, as we create new technology, they're going to incorporate that as well into the live trading rooms. So, uh, Peter, thank you. Uh, but I don't know if that answers your question, but, uh, we may get something together more frequently at some point like more events together for the smart setups indicators as well. There are a lot of good ones there that that uh, have a lot of uh, potential that we need to you know to bring to the surface. So, Peter, all right, thank you very much. Well, I'm going to go ahead and let everybody go tonight. Thanks for your time. Good luck trading, and uh, we're always here to help. So, Chad, thanks.